Greetings, my name is Katrina Curry and I will be your instructional guide for this computer-based training. Well, tonight we're going to go over, I'm going to be using Camtasia, which is a screen recording software. And also, I'm going to use PowerPoint and the skills that I am really trying to emphasize on is the iSpring software. So I'm going to go in and get the PowerPoint that I need or a PowerPoint. It's taking a while to load. So while that's loading, Camtasia of course is screen captioning. Uh, iSpring is a software that we use in e-learning, uh, much like Lectora and uh, Adobe Captivate. It helps us to uh, take PowerPoints and then just um, add them within a presentation. Having a little difficulty here. Usually it just opens up. Well, let me go to iSpring Pro. Launch PowerPoint. There's always several ways you can do something right. So I'm going to find my file. going to the computer. I'm going to go to the F drive because that is where my file is located. And I'm going to scroll down to this PowerPoint that I am trying to demonstrate. Those are templates. I'm not trying to do a template. Actually trying to do the branding course. Okay, here we go. Pop that little PowerPoint up. And what I wanted to point out um, in this tutorial, okay, I have my PowerPoints here. And what's going to be consistent with Lectora and, and iSpring, and I'm again, I'm using iSpring. iSpring will take all the features, like I have this particular feature. And I'm, I'm just going to show this uh, slide where I have all my animations. Um, it's going to take and incorporate all those animations without me seamlessly without me really having to go into much change. Um, I am using the iSpring Presenter 7 and it also gives an option for things such as branching. So let's scroll. Let's go in here and get a little view of the presenter. Um, it has um, a presentation explorer with iSpring. It has quiz. Uh, if we click over here to iSpring free, it shows you the quick publish and publish setting. Quick quick publish when you've already utilized the setting possibly in the publishing. Um, you whatever setting that you chose, it'll maintain that setting. So say for instance, if I um, selected SCORM, the next time when I click Quick Publish, it'll automatically accept the Quick, um, the SCORM or whatever I previously used. And of course, if um, I want to use Quick Publish again, I need to remind myself that it will be in SCORM. It won't be in another format 
say for instance um i wanted to i selected another type of um looped uh, presentation or i clicked something else along in this area okay we can also incorporate youtube and uh, it says upgrade to pro um, the presenter right now is uh, what icepring has they have a, um, a icepring suite 6 but they're upgrading to make sure it goes with mobile devices so uh, let's here's an ar area where we manage our narration a record video record audio so it complements um, PowerPoint very nicely so I am going to go and publish in this iSpring tool and again what I love about this I can um, say I want to publish to the web CD iSpring has um, an LMS, a learning management system online um, here. Um, they also have the iSpring online um, learning management system themselves, but this is if you have your own learning management system. Um, they have playback and navigation, compre uh, compression, um, and there are several options here advanced if you wanted to change this to like 120 I'm sorry 1280 by something else and um, if you want it to protect add your watermark add a logo um, perhaps that you would like to use so I'm going to select all slides because I want it to maintain all slides um, there's an I I can select to have it where it can go on a mobile device um, combine flash and HTML and that is what I'm going to do and it keeps a universal setting now here I can customize I can add a presenter video um, notes my outline my presenter information see if I wanted to put a company logo let's try to let me do presenter let me add Branding is the title of this. My email, let's just use um, my Liberty email. I believe it's KLC EDUC 639.weebly.com. And I'm going to browse for a photo. I know, right? This looks nice and professional. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. I need to edit that I see where so here's an how we go and edit 
see where I left the Y off. Going to use a presenter Pacific Company logo. And we'll do that. You can see the various looks. We don't want an online vi uh, lecture video because I don't have that. This is showing corporate training and it'll show the website. It goes to the website straight to it. Looks pretty good. There's my presenter tools, uh, presenter info, I'm sorry, my marker tools. And this is like a simple course presentation online full corporate training again business I'm going to use probably that same picture Maybe switch it up to um, a close up. And that's my logo for now. Just a simple picture. And then I want it to look a business look. Save as branding. There we go. Apply and close. And I'm going to publish. And it's going to process and render. and I'll let you see how it's going to look and I'll let you see how easy it flows and this is a very short PowerPoint so it won't have a lot of um, loading time and it of course if this was a course it probably ha would have been branched out So we're just waiting for it to load and here we go this is our final product like I said it maintains the integrity of the PowerPoint same things Now notice I can uh, upload it to FTP of the files if I had a website I can attach it to an email. Um, there are several options that are just awesome. And, you know here's if I had a quiz. And this is the course. Thank you for your time.